Uh, we can st- I can stand here at the pulpit to share to you with the Word of God. Let us all stand, please, and open our Bibles to the book of Revelation, chapter 1. And we will read together the verses starting with verse number 10 until uh, verse number 19. 10 to 19. Revelation chapter 1, verses 10 to 19, verse number 10, together let us read, Go. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and that what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, unto Smyrna, unto Pergamos, unto Thyatira, unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the case of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. Let us pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, what a tremendous, a wonderful revelation that you have with you for us tonight in your word, in the book of Revelation chapter 1. We praise you, Lord, that these things could be preached to your people, that, oh, Father, Lord, we will continue to serve you with all the best of our ability, with all our hearts and with all our minds, knowing that there is, much, uh, there is, um, there is not much time left. And, O oh, Father, Lord, use this message to charge us, to inspire us, even to do double time for the souls of men and women who are doomed to go to hell if they are not being preached to and if they cannot have the faith and be saved. And if there is anyone who do not have salvation, who has not experienced uh, the gift of eternal life, Lord, I pray that you will use this message to uh, inspire that one that he might have faith and be saved tonight. And to every one of us, Father, that this message would charge us and would inspire us to do even better as we are doing right now. And we give you all the honor and glory. Praise be to God. These things we pray in Christ's most wonderful name. Amen and amen. The message tonight is about the tribulation. And uh, as I contemplated, maybe uh, at the time when Pastor requested me to preach uh, tonight, uh, this thought came to me, but I would like to, I, I, I was hesitant and was not very much attracted to uh, preparing a message uh, because I know it will devote much time and it would require much study and much attention and going to references and commentaries and etc etc going to the internet but nevertheless as I would like to uh, as I scan my Bible and looking for what topic would feed the people of God tonight di man mawag tang na kong tribulation ba so uh, I said oh Lord uh, Sige, magtuon ko in uh, tribulation. And so, at this point in time, it is 6.27. I will do my best 
that these uh, seven seals and seven trumpets and six, seven vials will just be delivered in a matter of 45 to 50 minutes, okay? Okay. Two important events which will take place or there are two events uh, that await ev that await uh, every believer before the tribulation uh, take, uh, takes place, and these are the rapture and the judgment uh, seat of Jesus Christ. The rapture and the judgment seat of Jesus Christ before the tribulation. Although there are some uh, uh, debates and some. Uh, you know, disagreements that the rapture will, uh, will not take place before the tribulation because the saints will experience earthly tribulation. But even though, come what may, uh, basta ang, this church, our pastor, is supporting the doctrine that the rapture comes first before the tribulation. Now, the believers in Thessalonica was told by the Apostle Paul concerning the rapture, in 1 Thessalonians chapter uh, 4, verse 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Okay? And uh, the believers in Corinth also were informed by the Apostle Paul of the same uh, event that is going to take place. Uh, in uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 51, Behold, I show you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall ra ra be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. Not only in Thessalonica, not only in Corinth, but also the believers in Philippi, in Philippians 3, 20 and 21. The Bible says, For our conversation in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, uh, according to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. So three instances in the Bible, very specifically to the believers in Thessalonica, in, to Corinth, believers in Corinth and in Philippi, that the rapture, although the word rapture does not appear, but the things that will happen to the believers as described in the what we call rapture uh, will take place. So, that's one of the events that we are looking forward to. The second event that uh, before the tribulation comes is the judgment seat of the believers. In first, uh, Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 10, we are told and we are inspired by, uh, by this uh, passage of scripture by the Apostle Paul to the believers in Corinth, 2 Corinthians 5.10 says, For we must all appear. Speaking of Paul, the writer, and the believers in Corinth, and the believers here at Katipunan. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. So Christ is setting, he is sitting, uh, he is sitting, uh, uh, and we will be appearing before him that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done whether it be good or bad the things that is done by us not we have done to our own body kung ka mong mabay nag make up mo tagaan ay mo reward na sa heaven in judgment seat di ginaboy but pasabot done in his body the body of Christ the church, what is done in the church that is going to be accounted there at the judgment seat of the Lord Jesus Christ. And these are the wonderful things that will happen to the believers before the rapture. That is our doctrine. Now, uh, before the tribulation. So, the rapture and the judgment seat of Christ. Now, the tribulation. We will not be there. Amen. But why are we preaching this? Not only because it is found in the Bible, it is revealed in the Bible. John was instructed to write this as one of the things that will happen in the future. But because this, I believe, would inspire you and me to reach out for souls so that they will not be left behind Amen. during the rapture. And so that the lost will be, will be preached unto in order, to, in order that they be spared 
from the tragedy of being left behind during the tribulation period. So this has to be preached. What will happen in the tribulation period? Oh, awful. Very awful. And uh, troubled with me. I want you to travel with me as we are going to go uh, every step of the way. The wrath of, the wrath of God as he would pour them down to all the peoples of the earth. Okay? Concerning tribulation, the Lord Jesus Christ was already speaking about the tribulation. I want you to open in Matthew chapter 24, verse number 21. Matthew 24, 21, considering the tribulation, uh, Jesus Christ says, For then shall be great tribulation, Matthew 24, 21, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. So the Lord Jesus Christ is making a warning that the tribulation is very, 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 very great. The same chapter, verse 29, Jesus uh, Christ says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then he continues with this in the Revelation, the book of Revelation, as John was in the spirit on the day of the Lord as he was speaking to John. Revelation chapter 2 verse number 10 says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, this tribulation, this tribulation is a part of the revelation that John received from the Lord Jesus Christ on that day while he was exiled at the uh, island of Patmos, uh, there in the uh, southwestern part of Turkey. Okay? Revelation chapter 1, verse number 10, our passage, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. Praise God, the Spirit is with us. The Spirit of God dwelleth dwells in us and we become his temple and so whether it is lord's day or sunday or any day we have the spirit of god in us paul uh, john says i was in the spirit on the lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet okay so he was given by the lord to write the things concerning future events notice in verse number 19 that is the last verse of our passage. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The things that are present now, present to John's time, and the things that are going to happen future to John's time. So when did this instruction took, uh, take place? It took place on the Lord's day. That is why let us really encourage ourselves to be on the Lord's day. Not forsaking the assembling of, of uh, uh, one of us together, but exhorting one another so much the more as we see the day approaching. Okay? How does the Bible describe the tribulation that will happen to the inhabitants of the earth? Oh, tremendous, awful. You would not want even your shadow. To be here on earth when these things will take place. Okay? Let us begin in Revelation chapter 5, verse number 1. In Revelation chapter 5, verse number 1, John says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side. A book. With print within, and there was also a print of the book on the back side. Okay? That is, that is how it is described. And sealed with seven seals, meaning the book cannot be opened, and it cannot be read, because the book is sealed by seven seals. 
Uh, we have an idea what a seal is. Before I can open this, I have to break the seal, right? Mm. Wonderful. Otherwise, I cannot enjoy this water. And so, and I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof? And no man, verse number three, in heaven, no man in earth, no man below the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. Walay maka-open sa libro nga gisilyuhan. And I wept much. Muinom ko para makasabot mo nga nung nihilak siya. Because if I am thirsty and I would want to drink, I, and I cannot open this. When I was thirsty at the ICU after my operation, whoa, this is diamond to me. Maybe John was thinking that the book was diamond to him and it needs to be opened. He was so anxious to know what was written in the book. And that was why he said, I cried much. Are we so hungry for this book? That it would cause our tears to fall? Right? Okay. That's a good question. It challenges me. Maybe it also challenges you. I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders, there were 24 elders and four beasts that were present in the throne of God. Said unto me, weep not, I gilak, John I gilak, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. In the presence of four beasts, twenty-four elders, and one hundred million angels. Di makamunguha ng figura, engineer. Revelation chapter 5 verse number 11 says, I beheld and heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast, four beasts, and the elders, 24 elders, and the number of them, the angels, was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. And this is 100 million. So, and the four beasts in verse number 14 said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. They were happy. They glorified God. They said, Amen. That the Lamb has prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals. Here are the things that will happen in the tribulation as revealed in the book by the loosening of the seven seals. First seal that was opened, that was loosened. John says, Revelation 6.1, And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. White horse. And some scholars were really looking into this white horse, whether it could be the Lord Jesus Christ or whether it could be the Antichrist. The description is, And he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. He was powerful, he was in authority, and he has a power, bow. But there is no arrow here. So, the scholars were unanimous that he is the Antichrist. He is conquering using his power, his political influence, maybe his financial uh, influence all throughout the leadership, uh, leaders of the world. And he is able to gain uh, uh, leadership and following from the peoples of the earth. A white horse. So, that is the first seal. Why is that a tribulation? Because this man is going to rule the earth 
with him considering himself as God. Revelation chapter 6 in verse 3, And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse. The first horse was white, symbolizing the Antichrist. With all hypocrisy, he projected himself as God also. Now, the second uh, uh, seal, when it was opened, John saw a horse that was red, red horse. So we have the white horse and the red horse. Are you planning to buy and drink red horse? <laughs> and power was given to him that sat thereon to take the peace from the earth. So this red horse, this man riding on the red horse has power to take the peace from the people of the earth. If you will drink red horse, you have no peace with you. You are going to fight everyone else. Okay? So, this is the second seal. And you can imagine, he is going to take the peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. There is no more peace. Killing becomes abundant. Killing now is, uh, is uh, uh, the act of killing is uh, taught uh, in the cartoons uh, to our children, very small children. Killing like that one. Okay? So, and there was given unto him great sword, a great power to kill. That is the second seal. The third seal, verse number five. Revelation 6, And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, lo, a black horse. White, red, black. Andy Walker? But black is the color of gloom and mourning and lamentation. That is the color of, uh, that, that, that this, uh, this represents black color. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, Measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou art not the oil and the wine. So, uh, commentators have a lot of things to say. But why is it that kanimay ni appear sa nakita ni John, na vision sa langit, why is it that uh, it speaks of something that is not good in the environment, in the, uh, in the community? I would like to believe that in verse number 6, a wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny, meaning, puting baritoho nung palinlator? Nang anong tribulation mana? O barato kayong palaliton? Ang tribulation ni Dili sa baratong palaliton sa akong tanaw ni Pastor Ken is tungod sa kadaghan ng matay kay walay pagla walay peace. Ang supply more than the demand. Daghang patay, di minus ang consumers. Unya kay bikanay sa beta, look at China, every second they're producing uh, motorcycle. Ang atong fast foods, they are producing tremendous food volume of food. So, kung jutay ra ang mukaon, kay nangamatay man sa second, sa black horse, there is abundant supply. The low supply and demand will, uh, will take into account in this particular period of the tribulation period. Okay? So, if that is, if that is uh, the message, it makes sense, no? Now, let us go to the fourth seal. Revelation 6, 7, verse 7. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I look and behold a pale horse. How did John know that the horse was pale? <laughs> this would be pagkuhan ng pale. Tao pwede magkakwanta, pero pale ang horse, maybe, you know? But pale horse. And, is, uh, and his name that sat on him was death. 
So the one who, who ride on the horse that was pale was called death. And hell followed with him. The entourage of the pale horse where, where death was riding upon was hell. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth. 25% of the population of the world. Consider now, 7.8. Let us see, by that time, it will be 8 billion people. This verse speaks to us that about 2 billion people is going to be killed due to hunger, death, and beast. Uh, uh, let me see. Due to uh, sword, which is war, hunger, and with death, due to maybe pestilence or diseases. That is the fourth seal. The fifth, verse number nine. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they beheld. Why is it that the elders, one of the elders, did not say to John, Come and see? Sakadere, Tanawa. Why? Because he was there already. No? And unsay nakita niya, the souls under the altar, the souls of men were under the altar of them that were slain for the word of God. Slain for the word of God. And for the testimony which they beheld. And what were these uh, souls crying who were staying below underneath the altar? In verse number 10, and they cried with a loud voice, loud voice, saying, how long, O Lord? Loud voice. Kan ka, kanus amami, Lord. Unsa paman kataas ang among pabuton nga panahon. Holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And the answer is this one, verse 11. And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that this should rest yet for a little while. Paabot sa mga kadiyot. Gitagaan o sa silag white robe. And of course, the soul of nila. As soon as they were wearing already white robes, they were instructed and said, Paabot lang mo. Until your fellow servants also and your brethren should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. Paabot mo kay doon na may parihan nyo ng mga matay sa. Then the sixth seal, verse 12, and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. The sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll, when it is rolled together, and every mountain and the island were moved out of their places. Earthquakes, grabe kayo. We can understand that. Pero every mountain and islands were moved. We are known as a country of how many islands? 7,000. 100 plus. During high tide, during low tide, maglain-lain. Pila manana ang mga wagtang. And how many people will perish also? And the kings of the earth, verse 15, by the way, and the heaven departed as a scroll. In the earthquake, earthquake, grabe ani ang, I can imagine the eruption. Because the cause of earthquake is the eruption, one of the causes of earthquake, and major cause ng eruption. Kung doon ay eruption, grabe ka yung tremendous spewing of lava and other ashes from the bottom of the earth which could possibly also destroy the ozone layer that protects us from harmful rays like X-rays, beta, and gamma rays from the sun. And so, the removal or the destruction of the ozone layer could probably be as a scroll when it is rolled together. I do not know exactly, but I'm just, find, I'm just trying to find some scientific explanation to this. 
which could make sense to us. Okay? And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bandman, and every free man, tanan ginisya. Hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, mutago. Uy, ganahan mo, ganahan batang magpabilin aning ingon-ining sitwasyon sa kalibutan. Dili, uy. Sige, magpabilin pa mo diha. You would want to be left behind. Di good. And said to the mountains and rock, Fall on us and hide us from the face of Him, of God, that seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of His wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? The sixth seal. The first one was a white horse. The second one was a red horse. The third one was a black horse. Then followed by a pale horse. Followed by those who were found until the altar. altar. Uh, those who were slain for the sake of the gospel. And the sixth was a great earthquake. The sun. Ngano man itong makita ang adlaw? Nahinom dumus pinatubo? That explains. Pag-irap sa pinatubo in 1990, sa ito, in the 1990s, ngit-ngit ba Okay? So, that is understandable. Then, so, then the seventh seal. And verse number, ato natas Revelation chapter 8. Okay, marag mahuman kita. Revelation chapter 8, verse number 1, seventh seal. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour for 30 minutes. I would like to believe literal 30 minutes. Then I saw, verse 2, the seven angels which stood before God. So pag abli ni Jesus Christ sa seventh seal, seventh seal, pak nangahilom ang tibok langit ug dunay pito ka mga anghel nga na before God okay what happened they were bringing trumpets with them every one of the seven angels was bringing a trumpet or let us say is bringing a trumpet ato itanaw ba the way John saw it mao pud ato nakita ron gabi na so we find we find Seven angels, each angel bringing a trumpet. Okay? So, verse 7, the first trumpet sounded, the angel sounded, and were followed hail and fire mingled with blood. Ooh. Imagine that. Hail. Kana bang mga dagok ay mga object ba? Mga, mga hagbong gigas langit. Mga mura o murag solid ice ba? Hail and uh, fire, oh, fire, yeah, mingled with blood. Ooh. Imagine na. And they were cast upon the earth. And what happened? And the third part of the trees was burned up. Agi meron sa Guadalupe. Pwerteng dega ng manga, ego season, gyros mga tagpila kang kilo, ana. How many of those will be burned up when this happens? Okay? And all green grass was burnt up. All nani? Green grass. What will happen to our livestock? Nga nagdipindi sa green grass. Wa na tay kalderita ni. No more. Wa na tay beef steak. No more. No more. And all the green grass was burnt up. Mao na first trumpet. The next angel with his trumpet sounded. The second. And as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. Great mountain burning was cast into the sea. See, kung imagine, ana, how, how could that be? How could it be? Then I asked my wife, kung sa ito yung nga, ganyan ang gandagandaga nun, travel sa space, na adiha nga ka ng dakukang bato, nga tag diameter, tag 1 kilometer, 2 kilometers, 5 kilometers, mature, mature. 
meteor. But meteor is big than a meteorite. The smaller version of meteor is meteorite. Kung meteor ganin mo igo na to, ah, labi na gato na kaigo si Jupiter, kuwang ang lungag si Jupiter, kuwang bang earth, ipasok. <laughs> Pero meteorite ni siya. No? What happens? When a meteor, we are hit with a meteorite. I suppose this is a meteorite. Okay. Uh, as it were a great mountain man burning with fire. Ganang burning with fire. Kanig yung, kanig yung kuan, object, inig travel niya sa space. As it approaches the earth, grabe kayo ang force of attraction. Ang velocity na kusog kayo ng travel na friction sa air. You know, friction? Muproduce nag tayo. So the friction between the the rock as it moves towards the air passing through the atmosphere will produce fire money 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 cast into the sea and the third part of the sea became blood who the pacific ocean is that a third part of the entire uh, uh, sea on the planet earth if that is the entire pacific ocean dugo oh, can you imagine that Imagina ko na, bisag kanilang tubig sa, kanilang, sap, kanilang uh, dagat sa Cebu o sa, uh, sa Bohol, maunay mahimong dugo. That is awful. How much more for the entire Pacific Ocean? Or the entire seas that covers, uh, that surrounds the Philippine Archipelago, o maunay dugo. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life, died. And the third part of the ships were destroyed. Kung, kung mamatay ang, ang isda, third part, kung sa nila pagkabuhi, ang dugo man ang dagat. Pero kung ang ship mamatay, third, uh, ma destroyed, then meteorite is a good explanation. That could hit our, our ocean. Okay? Third trumpet, verse number 10. And the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven. Burning, burning as it were a lump, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the mountains of waters. And the name of the star is Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. To make sense ba, akong gustong marelate sa scientific Japan. Uh, although, Dili ko na good siya good uh, maoy guarantee nga maoy ganyan explanation pero to make this uh, to make this uh, message exciting and it will it will it will uh, create more uh, more imagination in our minds akong gitan aw ni siyang star that will fall if this is going to be a nuclear uh, bomb that some of the nations are now developing and trying to aim at other countries like North Korea and others, it is possible. Because the nuclear effect, effect of the radiation of a nuclear bomb that explodes would be tremendous. Even if you will read uh, what happened to Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that was not a nuclear bomb. That was only a, that was only a hydrogen bomb. That was only a hydrogen bomb. Hydrogen bomb is nothing compared to a nuclear bomb because of atomic fission and fusion. So, grabe kayo. So, I can imagine it could affect the waters and it could harm, harm the people who will be drinking that water that is uh, affected by uh, nuclear radiation. Si Mamrot gani, radiation, <laughs> di ba isolate And that is nothing compared to this nuclear thing that I am trying to explain scientifically. But God knows the real thing. Okay? Grabe kay Wormwood. Pait. Pait. Akong kita na usam ni Wormwood. Wormwood is a kind of plant. Sa atong binisaya, ako maagid-agi ni siya nga panyawan. Pwerte yung paita. No? Can you imagine? Makainom kag tubig nga pare kapait sa panyawan. Nga matod pa sa kong mahod. Pagbut pagbutang o panyawan sa iyang, sa iyang ilong, dili sa iyang ilong, sa iyang mata. Naka-taste siya sa kapait. Hindi po ko, eh, tinuho na eh. Mata, gibutan niya. Naka-taste eh, yes, doy. No, eh. na Nako, ang kapait sa panyawan, gibutan sa ilong. Ano mo ba? Wormwood. Fourth trumpet. And the fourth, uh, verse 12. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten. And the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars, 
So as the third part of them was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. In kung mao na mahitabo, grabe mang kayo ang gitawag o climate change. Even if we are hotter by one degree or one of a fraction of a degree, tremendous ang epekto na nato globally, globally, yeah. And uh, they explained that that is why the re- uh, that is the reason why the the uh, snow cap at the North Pole is uh, melting, and eventually it will, could cause the rising of the tide uh, several meters, and could uh, could uh, put some areas underwater. Uh, but anyway, mo na ilang findings kuno because of global warming. Pero that is nothing compared with this. That is nothing compared with this. A tremendous climatic effect to the earth. This climate change they are talking about is nothing compared to the effect of the uh, as soon as the fourth angel will sound his trumpet. Then the fifth trumpet. Verse number nine, one of Revelation 9. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. I would like to believe that this star being mentioned here is not, is not the heavenly bodies that we used to understand about star, but maybe it could be an, one of the angels. One of the angels can appear as a star. Like the angel that uh, appeared when the Lord Jesus Christ was born at Bethlehem. And he opened the bottomless pit because do naman siya key. And there arose a smoke of the pit. And as the smoke of a great furnace, pwede ting grabihang aso yun. Grabe kang aso. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Pwede ting pagkakaso ha. Ngit ngit good. And there came out of the smoke locust upon the earth. Locust. What is locust? Ari ng locust kaya ako nang ibutang spraying pad, ikan ko na. <laughs> this is a different kind of locust. Stretch your imagination now. And unto them was given power. Mola ni locust do power. As the scorpions of the earth have power. Oh, locust nga do sting. Locos o mastingan ka, grabe kayo. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. Ang mapaakan, ang mastingan ni nga locos, dili mamatay, pero maganto sa tumang kasakit for a period of five months. Kinsa pa may ganahang mo be, to be left behind, oy, o maunin kalaki ha, No? And their torment was the torment of a scorpion when he strike it a man. I do not know. Okay, say nakasaway rog uli. Oh, so ning scorpion. Tanga, tanga, tanga is the sibuano. Kini say nastingan yung tanga. And in those days, men shall seek death, but they shall not find it. And shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Napaka na kastanga, gusto kang mamatay, pero hindi kang mamatay. And the shapes of the locust here, makalilisang, were like unto horses prepared unto battle. A horse is not used in battle, naked as he is. Suluba na siya mga butang to make him prepare for battle. And their heads, tanawa ang... ang, ang, ang Ingot siya bakabay ang itsura and their heads were as it were crowns like gold and their faces were as faces of men and they had hair as the hair of women and their teeth were as the teeth of lions in ilo ang fifth trumpet in its sound. Let us go to the sixth trumpet, Revelation 9.13. And the sixth angel sounded and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates Duna de ay upat ka anghel nga gigapos 
sa Euphrates River. Ang instruction ha, hulbari na silang kapos. Kaning upat ka angels, hulbari silang kapos. Lose them. And the four angels were loose, na hulbara na sa kapos, were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year to slay the third part of the men. One year, one month, one day, and one hour ang preparation ni ining upat ka mga anghil nga gigapos, gihulbaran silang gapos. Aron pat yun ang one third. Six billion na lang na napatay na ang one fourth. One third na is another two billion. You follow me? Oh, pat yun na ang one third na. So four billion na. I am talking of a future when, when the population shall have been 8 billion. Okay, 7.8 mataron. Okay? So, hapit na. Okay, if that is, that is a correct state, uh, statistics. But anyway, <clears throat> nindot maguda pong doon ay statistics na itong minsahe. Muana maguda itong utok, mudagan ba? Verse number 16. And the nar- ar- number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand or 200 million and I heard the number of them. Now, kinsa kani. And thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplate of fire and of jacent and brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the head of lions and out of their mouths issue fire and smoke and brimstone. By this three Ay, may usa, upat bini ka angels nga gilus. By these three was the third part of men killed by fire, by the smoke, and by brimstone. Fire. Maybe war, smoke, maybe air pollution, and brimstone. Maybe we will be hotter by few degrees, which issued out of their mouths. Basta. Bas- one third ang mamatay ana dili ordinary yung kamatayon ang akong desire nga lord ay lang ko mamatay nga mag ICU na pugo lord nya maghasol ako mga mga anak o asawa lord kanang ini ko mga bawa na ko <laughs> dili na dili sila mapan pero kani kamatayon na grabe ni eh. you see that na abay ganahan na to mo pabilin ani mga panahon na wala wa gyud hmm and the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues. Okay, plagues ni siya. Tanan. Yet repented not of the works of their hands that they should not worship devils and idols of gold, silver, etc., etc. Neither repented they of their murders, of their sorcerers, nor of their fornication, nor of their thieves or thieveries. Then, Revelation 10, Revelation 11, before the twelve, the seventh trumpet. Ay na lang tanang Revelation 10. Ay lang sa tanang Revelation 11. Revelation 10, there was an angel with rainbow in his head, etc. With a book, and then gikao ni John ang libro nga gigunitan. That is, 11, that is 10. Verse, uh, chapter, Revelation 11, Elijah and Moses will be resurrected. At the at Jerusalem, and they will testify for more than 120 days, 1,000 days. They will testify. After that, uh, the devil will war will war against them, and they will be killed. They will be uh, their bodies will lie in the street of Jerusalem for three and a half days, and they, it will they will not be allowed to be buried. But on the third day, Moses and uh, Elijah is uh, resurrected are resurrected and they are commanded to go up to heaven okay then come revelation uh, revelation chapter uh, chapter 16 para madali na ta ang seven vials okay seven seals seven trumpets seven vials all of them were designed to hurt men on earth because this is the wrath of God poured down to express His judgment upon the wickedness of the peoples of the earth. Okay? First vial, 
Revelation 16.2. And the first went and poured out his vial. Of course, there were seven angels, again, standing before God, and they were given vials. Bowls, ma bowls. Panaksan, nga mura o sa chowking. Mayroon ng chowking kay nindot mo na. After this service, manginom tag, mga untaan na. Pero grabe ni. The first went with his bowl and poured out his vial or his bowl upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men. Four billion na lang nabili na. If the statistics were accurate, four billion na lang. Which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. Grabe kayo. Noisome and grievous sore. Dili ta magpamark sa beast, oy. Awa naman ta diha. Dita. But just in case, some of us will be left behind. You are fully aware na ayaw yun pamark of beast. Hey, doon na pa may chance. Okay? God is a God of chance. <laughs> grievous sore upon... Up, Upon among those who had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. That is the first vial. Second vial. The second angel poured out his vial upon the sea and it became as the blood of the dead man and every living soul died in the sea. Sa una, one third of them And one third of the ship. Karon, every living thing died. Wa nagitay bulinaw ane. Wa nagyud ah, di tao di mta apel wa nagid sila tangigi ani wala ay tamarong wa na sila tuna wa na sila uh, wa na and the third vial the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters and they become became blood unsao naman ani mayingon si Daniloa Mahal na kayo kaya ang pag purify anaron blood man akong i-purify para <laughs> ma drinking water kanag buhi pa pos Danilo by the time tag iya sa nature spring Can you imagine that fourth vial and the fourth angel poured his vial upon the sun and the power was given unto him to scorch men with fire Muram sa fire kun tingog dunay dunay mga storm sa sun Ang, ang radiation sa yung storm makaapiktar na nato dire. But by the time, turbulent siguro kaya ng sun, so much so, are you aware that several thousand miles ang pag-spew sa burning gases diha sa adlaw ron? Mas dako pagod sa earth. Ang dispewing of gases. O, oh, umabilin ang sun, uh, more violent than it is right now, it, the power given to the sun is to scorch men with fire with fire and the men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God which had power over those plagues and they repented not to give him glory fifth vial Revelation 16.10 and the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the, upon the seat of the beast the antichrist and his kingdom was full of darkness and did know their tongues for pain so the Antichrist is going to experience sa dili pagod ang final judgment alang niya, samtang siya galingkod in authority as the Antichrist who, who would want people to worship him as God, grabe ang pain nga iyang ma-experience while sitting there in authority and get described sa Bible and, uh, and uh, their tongues gnawed and they gnawed their tongues for pain. Sa ka nang no, 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 no. Huh? Gi paak, uh, gi paak day, mapaak nila ang ilang hip, ang ilang dila sa kasakit. Ah, you see? Kung injeksyonan ni, eh, akong anaon, akong anak, parang doon ay competition ba? Have you experienced that? Kwa antag, kwa antag dugo, naka-experience ko, Pastor Ken, you remove, uh, you get a, a, a bayal from my, when I was there, and yours was the, kuan yun? pinakanindot ti ragyod kay ikumpara sa uban nga kapila pa magtuslok-tuslok una pa ma pagita pero akong buhaton akong anaon to compete ba kay makontrol man ako ni para makalimot ko are 
Dili kay ko kata katensyon. Can you imagine to compete the pain pa ako nila nang dila? Perte pa kasakit ano. Sakit gunang pa ako nang dila. Nya parang magakumpit, no? Dignod your tongue. Hmm. And blaspheme the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores. Ay naamo din ni sores. Yan tog si Job rado na sores. And repented not of their deeds. Sixth. Second to the last. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates and the water thereof was dried up. That the way of the kings of the east might be prepared for the battle of Armageddon. Oh, wala na ibutan sa Bible but that is how I see it. Then the seventh vial and the seventh angel poured out his vial unto the air and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying it is done. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings and there was great earthquake such as was not since men were upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great. Grabe kay ni Ertwika. The, the seventh vial. And the great city, Jerusalem, was divided into three parts and the cities of the nations fell and great Babylon came in remembrance before God. What? Why? In remembrance unto her cup of wine and of the fierceness of his wrath, and every island fled away. What will remain? Maybe Luzon or the entire Philippine archipelago. And there fell upon men great hell. Ang nagpuyo sa mga continents, big continents, Africa, America, Australia, uh, Europe, big continents. And there fell upon men of a great hail out of heaven. Every stone about the weight of a talent. Put in akong research on in talent. Bali ko dito's weights and measures. And finally, I arrived at 21 kilograms. 21 ka kilo. Kanang usak ka tubig bang atong paliton sa refilling station, 20 ka kilo na. More or less, ingon-ingon na nang ibugaton ang mahagbong gikan sa langit. Nag maigo ka na, kusog mo na kayo, velocity na. So, first seal, white horse. Second seal, red horse. Third seal, black horse. Fourth seal, pale horse. Fifth seal, the souls under the, that were slain, that were under the altar. Sixth seal, earthquake. The sun became black and the moon has blood. And then came the first trumpet, third part of the trees were burned up. The second trumpet, third part of the sea became blood, and the third part of the ship were destroyed. The third trumpet, great star from heaven, which I would like to associate with uh, in the science uh, uh, area, is the, uh, this uh, nuclear bomb. Fourth trumpet, tremendous climate change. Fifth trumpet, locust upon the earth like a horse but very powerful. And people would like to die, but they are committed five months. Uh, yes. Six trumpet, uh, third part of men are going to be killed. Then comes the vials. The first vial, noisome and grievous sore upon those, the mark of the beast. The, the second vial, every living soul died in the sea. Mamatay ang tanan, nga mga living thing dito. Third vial, rivers and mountains of waters, they become blood. Fourth vial, Uh, the sun will be given power to scorch men with fire. Fifth vial, uh, the Antichrist is going to suffer tremendous pain. Nga paako niya yan dila. Sixth vial, uh, they will, uh, the river Euphrates is going to be dried up. And the seventh vial, great earthquake and no island is going to remain. The tribulation is a very good reason why every child of God must win souls. The tribulation is a good reason why we have to disciple people. Why we have to uh, get involved in every ministry of the church. This is a very good reason. There are so many reasons. Heaven is a great place to stay for eternity. But the tribulation, we love the souls of men. We do not want them to experience the hardships and the pain and the sufferings in the tribulation. If you are not saved tonight, definitely, 
you will be among those who will suffer during the tribulation. Would you allow yourself to be one among those who will suffer? Or will you give your soul a chance tonight? Amen? Those who have backslidden, will you remain in your backslidden state? Or those who are planning to, backsli to backslide, would you still be pursuing? And those who have backslidden, let us, let us encourage them to go back to the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for telling us what lies ahead of those who will be left behind after the rapture. Thank you for this inspiration that you have given the church here at Katipunan. Bless the people during the invitation. In Jesus' name I pray.